What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back. Yo, guys, um, we haven't said this in a while, but guys, drop 10k in the comments, like the vid, sub if you're new for a chance at winning 10k stubs, or should I say a $10 PSN card? Um, guys, 100 likes, and somebody in the comments gets a nice uh 10k stubs, $10 PSN card. So just run up the likes, drop the like. Guys, this is gonna be a video on how to make stubs right now. Um, the market is crashed. Your boy Bugs loves market crashes. And as you can see, my Chris sale has sold. What will I be doing? I will be buying as many cards as possible. Um, if you guys are watching me right now, um, all these 99 overalls, if you could buy as many as possible, if you have like 500k, if you have 200k, go buy as many cards as possible. Any card in the game right now. I'm not even kidding. You will make a ton of stubs right now. The auction is fried Jones, bro. Um, like, fried. I'm just gonna go over a bunch of cards you should pick up right now to make all those stubs. Um, it's just the fact that the auction is like this right now is insane. Like my Justin Upton, I lost like 30k stubs on him because they dropped those headliners, which crashed the auction. And then they dropped these packs, which dropped destroyed the auction. So, with that said, um, I took the fattest L on stub losses. Vlad Jr.'s at 60k. I never thought we would ever see his price at 60k. Oh my god. Okay, so let's go over this. So ready? <sighs> they dropped this yesterday. Um, I don't know if you got if you guys don't know what it is. Year behind, they dropped this. This is an auto diamond player, and just, just look, just this is ridiculous. Um, the fact that they actually dropped these cards in these packs, I find is ridiculous. In my opinion, I think they should have had like a limited time thing, but no, you're guaranteed this. It, it destroyed the auction. Um, this is what I think. Okay. How do you make stubs right now? Okay. Simple. I'm going to tell you right now. It's very simple. So, oh my God. Thank God I sold them yesterday for 33K. Holy shit. Okay. So, ready? Goal players are literally the, like, they could be the best way to make stubs right now. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So, I'm just going to go over the live series right now. Okay. Live. Okay. Let's go to Zach Ranky. Alright, so listen. Right now, investments wise, oh my goodness, what the hell? Oh my god. Okay, so right now, he literally dropped 20k. <laughs> Alright, so with this being said, to make stubs right now, first of all, a lot of price gaps are off. For instance, right here, that's a K stubs profit if you just do this one. Um Granky right now for 1600 stubs is a solid investment all these cards like all the bronze card I mean all the gold cards are very good investments right now all like the investment cards like Trey Turner at this cheap ready this is what I'm gonna do like literally like bro if you listen to bugs you'll make a ton of stubs um Trey Turner 1400 stubs he's one overall away from going diamond Trevor Story is one overall away going diamond. He's one overall. He's one overall. He's one overall. Listen, they're at 1,800 stubs. When players turn diamond, they're minimum 5K. So if they're minimum 5K, then why wouldn't you just pick up a ton of these, make 2K stubs clean, 3K stubs clean when they turn diamond? Even before they turn diamond on the next roster update, you'll be making a ton of stubs. So, okay. Okay. So. That is my top way right now to make stubs. Is that? And I want to show you some crazy price gaps that I noticed today. Um, that's a good investment right there. But look at this. Okuna 5k. Oh my goodness. The auction is bad. It's oh god. Yo, if you guys are watching this, just whoever had diamond cards like I did took the fattest L out. Like, yeah, the auction's gonna replenish itself, but dude, it's gonna take a while. Like, this is the biggest hit I've seen in this game. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, if you listen to me, sell your diamonds. I didn't even sell my diamonds. I literally told everybody to sell their diamonds, and I didn't even sell my diamonds. <sighs> Alright. 
Uh, so what I was noticing actually there was a lot of price gaps with the new signature series cards and all the players that got downgraded and upgraded So right now like look at this lefty grove. Okay, look Alomar is a pretty good price gap All right, so this is what I'm gonna tell you to do listen if you have a hundred K stubs right now I would probably go pick up either Alomar Verlander Henderson Wagner any of the collection players. Uh, no literally any 99 overall player right now that you see is very cheap. For instance, Cal Ripken for 69k. Listen, if I had the stubs, I would buy it. But listen, if you're gonna get 69k and you're gonna buy this Cal Ripken, um, you're gonna make a ton of stubs. First of all, um, when the next program comes out, this card's gonna jump up. You're gonna see these cards probably at 100k again, not too far away. Like literally, um, if you have like 400k, buy these three cards right here. Um, and just flip them you will flip them. You'll make 20k a pop You could easily make 60k stubs with a 99 overall being 70k on the dot. It's just not normal Um, you saw Yadier Molina literally this week. You saw every single card so expensive The market has crashed. They're too so cheap. They're way too cheap You will never see them at this price probably till like the end of the game. No, not to the end of the game probably like next month So right now all I'm just gonna say is go ahead buy as many 99 overalls as you can um matt williams is going pedroy is going at 50k listen you never ever buy now if you guys don't know how to do this by now go create buy order and place let's go blah 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 whatever if you play 72 111 you'll pop up here you'll get the cards uh for literally what 10 percent off it's literally a 10 percent off thing i literally that's how i see it. it's literally 10 percent off all the time so just go ahead and do that. Never buy now, ever. You sell your cards and never tell your cards through there. You just place a buy order. That's how you sell your cards and how you buy your cards is placing a create buy order. So that's how you do it. Listen, I'm telling you, you'll make those stubs. It might take some time, but listen, freaking dude, Billy Wagner for 70K, 99. Just think about that for one second. Literally a top closer of all time, a 99 overall for 70K. We saw 99 overalls at 200k, 300k. They're literally base 70k right now. MLB, what are you doing? Um, it's just ridiculous. So, look for price gaps. McCutcheon at 69k. Like, dude, that's a snipe. Like, Wade Boggs, 58k. When I pulled him, I sold him for 140k. Dude, dude. Keith Hernandez at 20k. Listen, everybody has one signature series pack. Um, so you only get one of them. This is the rare, uh, the most common one. So a 98 overall is a common. The stats are not common. The stats are fire. What I will be doing, I might pick up two of these, try them out. Because first of all, I'm a Mets fan. Keith Hernandez is a legend. His vision's crazy. His fielding's crazy. The speed's not even that bad for a first baseman. Contact's there. And the power, I can hit some dingers with him. Uh, that vision makes him godly. But yeah, 20k for 117 vision. What? Um, Omar Vizquel. This card's gonna be filthy. Why is he have an 88 speed? It should be a 99. I don't know. Stealing an 89 once again should not be an 89. Should be a 99 steal. This card right here. If you buy it for a million stubs, you're a bozo. <laughs> this card is, in my opinion, is kind of trash. Um, Lou Brock at 40k. This dude, I literally tried selling him at 60k. No one bought it. Now he's 40k. L. Um, all I'm just gonna say, I'm gonna keep on saying it. All of these cards, all the cards I went over, especially Lou Brock, especially all the headliner packs, they're all out of packs. So think about it to your head. Listen, every game, yo, they drop the packs, they're out of packs. Like, this is what pisses me off, okay? Justin Upton. Uh, he, he's out of packs, but they dropped two new packs to destroy the auction. But listen to this. When everybody pops these packs, no one, no way the market crashes more. This is the lowest you'll see it. With these packs coming out, everybody popped their one by now. I would literally say the auction rises like a shit ton. Probably like in about three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I literally don't think MLB will drop anything Monday through Thursday next week. There's no way. If they do, the game might die. If they drop one more pack tomorrow or the next day, whatever, goodbye MLB. It is a wrap Jones for MLB. Listen, recap. Just drop the, um, just drop 
Mad stubs on as many players as you can right now. Make those stubs. Invest in gold players. All you can do, spend all your stubs now. If you're not spending all your stubs now, you're doing something wrong. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, that's all I got. Um, peace out, guys. Pull up to my vids. Drop the like. Help the mans out. We actually have a video that's at 900 views in three hours. Um, pff, crazy stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.